Hello, I'm Dr. Richard Ganglish, and today we're going to perform an extreme smile makeover. We're going to take six teeth that are extremely worn. We're going to prepare and place six beautiful porcelain crowns. So let's get started with David's story. Hi, I'm David Hall. I'm here this morning at Ganglish Dental Group with Dr. Ganglish himself. He is going to do a total mouth restoration with porcelain caps. I'm here because uh, I've had a great amount of wear and tear on my teeth over the past couple decades and they're now shells and I'm ready to num number one get it medically treated and number two get a new look. We're here today with David, and David has come to us with a problem of severe wear on his teeth. So what we plan on doing is an extreme smile makeover for him. Now this is not just merely for cosmetic purposes. What we have to do is we have to protect his teeth from continuing to wear away and eventually crumbling on him. However, one nice thing about this is he'll end up with a stunning smile after this. Well, David's been sedated, and David, how are you doing today? I'm doing very well, thank you. Well, that's, that's great. Well, we're going to have some fun today, David, and, uh, you know, the nice thing is you're going to end up walking out with a fantastic smile, so let's, let's get started. That's great, thank you. To do an extreme smile makeover, we have to go ahead and prepare the teeth to accept the crowns. That means we have to remove the enamel surface from the teeth so that we can go ahead and be able to have some room to put the porcelain in. And you notice here we're making uh, depth cuts in the enamel. It's very important to make sure that we've got enough enamel that's removed and no more than that. Uh, we have to have enough depth of porcelain to make them look beautiful. We like to have that uh, inner translucence and we can't just do it just by layering a thin layer of porcelain over that. So now we go and strip away the rest of the enamel. Now everyone thinks at this point that we're grinding these teeth down to little pegs, and that's really not the case, although they certainly do look small. But we're only taking away a millimeter and a half of tooth enamel, so that still leaves quite a bit of tooth left. Now we'll go ahead and continue this process. We've got six teeth we're going to take care of today, so that'll end up uh, working out real well for them. End up uh, with a beautiful smile after this. Now you notice one thing, the patient doesn't feel a thing. It's extremely important. We want to make sure that they are very comfortable. This is number one priority in our office. So we continue to go down the line. We've got six teeth that we need to do. We'll go and refine each preparation, make sure every single tooth is perfectly done before we consider taking any kind of impression of that. So go through and get all those edges smooth right around the margins. That's the uh, extremely important part of the uh, preparation for the teeth. And we'll round all the corners here at the end, make sure there's no internal stresses that we'll put on the porcelain. It could cause some premature fracture. Now we're going to pack some cord along the gums. What that's going to do is going to get the gums out of the way so we can take an impression of that. That's what we'll make a mold of and we'll send that off to the lab and that's what they'll use to construct the crowns. So here we're going to squirt some of that impression material in and then we'll go ahead and make a mold of that and we'll wait until that sets and that's what we'll use to construct those crowns. Now in the interim the patient's going to wear a temporary and you notice we've got a liquid plastic that we place in the mouth and that will uh, set for a little bit. And we'll take that out. We'll show you what that looks like on the inside. There we go. So that's 
In the interim here, we also are going to uh, do a face bow transfer. What that does is that will relate the patient's mouth to, uh, to a machine that will reproduce jaw movements. They'll do that during the lab process. So we've made a temporary uh, set of teeth here, so this will be a good indication of what we're going to be able to put in in the permanent basis. So David, open for me a little bit, and we'll try that in. Now let's go ahead and focus in on that, and we'll go ahead and see how that is. David will wear his temporaries for a couple of weeks. That will give the lab time to construct his permanent crowns. It will also give David time to make sure that the temporary smile that we made is the right one for him. Now the moment has come and we'll cement his new crowns and complete his brilliant smile. Well, the big day has come and we've taken his temporaries off and we're going to go ahead and try in the, uh, those new crowns. And at that point, we want to make sure they look good before we consider cementing them in. Looks like they're coming along quite well there. want to make sure every single one of these fits perfect before we consider cementation. I also want to take into account contours and colors and make sure that everything looks good and that the patient approves. Check the margins around the edge, make sure there's no edges that are not fitting. So it's cementation time. We'll go ahead and put a bonding agent over the uh, teeth. We're going to go ahead and cement that in with a resin cement. There's a little bit of adhesive properties, but mainly mainly has to be held on just by uh, the friction of the preparation. That's why the preparations have to be done the way they are, where they're uh, reasonably parallel, but not exactly. we got to make sure when we cement, it's got to be perfect before we let that cement set. Now, the cement can be light cured, so we're able to get it to uh, cure just a little bit, just enough so we can get the cement, the excess cement off easily. And then we'll go ahead and cure it fully once we have everything in good shape on that. All right, well we've finished our appointment for today. We've gotten all six of uh, David's crowns in and uh, let's uh, have you take a look there, all David. Right, See what you think. A big surprise. Oh, they look wonderful. I think that's a spectacular right. smile there. percent better. Now you got to go show those off to everyone now. I will be standing on the corner all weekend. <laughs> well, David, you did great there, you my man. Great. Thank you. I'm David Hall. I've had uh, Dr. G and his staff redo my uh, smile, my teeth, my entire set of teeth. And I've got to tell you, I've been extremely pleased with them as have my immediate family and some people I even run into every now and then that don't even know me have commented on how white my teeth are and what a brilliant smile I have and it's made me a lot more confident. Uh, if this was a procedure I had to repeat again I wouldn't think twice about it. Uh, I would highly recommend it for those individuals who want to have a change in their life and have the opportunity to do so.